Hello students, let us go for revision. Here they have given some questions. Always if we go for revision, we will get confident in our subjects. So the first question tells about, what is the first question tells? Here actually benzene ring, benzene ring connected with ethene right ch double bond ch2 that is what it has mentioned right so it is reacts with hbr so that is the question now what is the name of this this is called styrene okay styrene it is actually alkene compound alkene so here i wanted to mention this alkene reacts with HBr. First and foremost, two things you have to remember. The first thing, it is an addition reaction. Addition reaction. HBr reacts with alkene. It's an addition reaction. The second thing, the main famous rule here, HBr, it's a negative charge. It's a positive charge, which is going to react with alkene. Yes, the rule, the main rule. It is Markovnikov's rule. Markovnikov's rule. Uh, you remember in this way. So you can apply that. So how to apply this here? Negative charge which will go and attach with that where there is a lesser number of hydrogen. Positive charge where it will go and attach. It will go and attach with that more number of hydrogen. Now what is the product with this? So the product as I mentioned only you will come to know. Here, benzene ring, same as it is, the benzene ring will be there. So, the benzene ring connected with that hydrogen here, bond breaks. The bond breaks means here, bromine atom will be attached over here and carbon already has two hydrogen and one more hydrogen will be available because of that reacted with this compound. Okay. Hope. What is the name of this one bromo? Bromo ethyl benzene. Hope you're clear with the second question. What is the second question tells us? The second question also a little bit similar. Yes, CH3, CH2, CH double bond CH2. Yes, this also the same formula. Which one? It's a Markovnikov's rule. What is the main criteria for Markovnikov's rule? It should not be a symmetrical. It should be unsymmetrical. Yes, fine. It is an unsymmetrical only. Yes, shall we go for that? Already we have gone through, no? This is just easy here. There it is a HBr. Here it is a HCl. Let us go for that next question. It is CH3. Already we have seen that question. No, let us go for it. Here, CH3, CH2, CH double bond CH2 combined with HCl. That is what the question tells. Yes, let us go and check it whether it is correct or not. Yes, CH3, CH2, CH double bond CH2. What is the name of this? It is... But one in is it correct? Okay, now the same way. This is a negative charge and this is a positive charge. This is a nucleophile. Where it will go and attach it? This nucleophile which will go and attach that where there is a lesser number of hydrogen and positive charge which will go and attach with that more number of hydrogen. So this is Markovnikov's rule. Please don't forget. So Markovnikov's rule. What is the answer for this? Come on, let us go for it. Answer CH3, CH2, CH here, Cl and here what it is? CH3. So here what, do you, what is the answer you will bring it? 2-chloro-butane. 2-chloro-butane.
to chloro butane hope you are clear with this second one now the third question it is benzene ring connected with propene it reacts with hbr in the presence of peroxide ion peroxide when that point peroxide along with hbr it reacts with alkene you please remember it's anti markovnikov scoff's rule anti markovnikov scoff's rule okay anti markovnikov's rule see whenever we are learning something you please keep some tips so that you will remember that so peroxide is the main point to remember peroxide along with the hydrogen halide you please remember for that anti markovnikov rule alkene reacts with hcl that is markovnikov rule okay now of course here negative charge and this is positive charge so what happened these two things which is reacting with that uh, alkene so always peroxide in the presence of that so the negative charge which where it will go on attach with that more number of hydrogen connected with carbon that uh, positive charge which will go on attach with that lesser number of hydrogen which is connected with that carbon okay that you have gone through that markovnikov rule anti markovnikov rule if you are having doubt you just check it with my video markovnikov rule anti markovnikov rule that video you please watch it so that it will be easier for you to understand okay now that uh, benzene ring connected with propene let us go for that reaction c6h5 third question benzene ring benzene ring connected with ch2 ch double bond ch2 propene reacts with the hbr in the presence of peroxide so what is the answer yes fine this is a negative charge and this is a positive charge and already i just mentioned the negative charge which will go on attach with that where there is more number of hydrogen connected with carbon and positive charge which will go on attach with that lesser number of hydrogen connected with that carbon this is in the presence of peroxide it is markovnikov anti markovnikov rule anti markovnikov markovnikov rule okay now what is the answer you will get it here here ch2 ch2 here ch2 br by the by what is the name of it 3 phenyl prop 1 in 3 phenyl prop 1 in now what is the name of this product okay this is the product what is the name of the product you please comment in the comment box hope you are clear with the third question the second question and first question second question is this one and first question okay so all these things i have given hope you are clear with that Thanks for watching.